Kazaki show. I'm the Trev. It's too sweet. Anyway, go back to retired numbers. Gonna take a break from the favorites for a bit. Give you some real content. And I'm still working on some of the bigger ones, but at the same time, I'm getting as much of the smaller, easier ones still out of the way that I can. And this one's fairly easy. I could make this in a matter of minutes and call it an episode. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Today, we're talking about the number seven hanging up in Washington. Yvonne Labre. Let's talk about it. So Labre's career with the Washington Capitals began June 12, 1974. That was the day the NHL had their expansion draft for the Capitals and the Kansas City Scouts, who we will talk about at some point. Now in this, he was their fourth selection coming over from the Pittsburgh Penguins. And, I mean, when you already have a team where you're selecting Ron Lowe, Labrie himself, it was really the two names that stand out the most. Everybody else is basically fodder, I guess. It's not to say that in a disrespectful way. It's just early expansion drafts weren't nearly as good as the ones you have now. And while Labre wasn't exactly a superstar by terms of the caliber, he is also noted for being the first player in Capitals history to score the home goal when he beat Rogi Vashon of the LA Kings. And despite there not being a huge, huge amount of positive things to talk about when it came to the Capitals in their early years, this season, the 74-75 season, Despite the Capitals' record, history will show it, they sucked. <laughs> the 76 games, he got career highs all across the board. Four goals, 23 assists, 27 points, and 182 penalty minutes. So all said, a good first season. But every season after that, not so much. For the 75-76 season, though, it's noted, he was awarded the captaincy. And... Well, the results stayed the same. I mean, his point total went down from, from 27 to 22. 76, 77 went to 14. 77, 78. Between time in Washington and Hershey, their AHL affiliate. That season, he only put up eight assists. But again, he was more focused on your penalty minutes, having got 146, 169, and 41, respectively, in those three seasons. 78, 79, though. Captaincy went to Ryan Walter and no alternates. That didn't really seem to impact much. I mean, Labre was playing less and less and less. Like, 78, 79 season, he only played 51 games, but still managed 14 points. 79, 80 was 18 games and only 5 points. So it's catching up. It's about that time. His 80 81 season, which was his final season, 25 games, put up 2 goals, 4 assists for 6 points, and 100 penalty minutes. And that was Labre's career. And like I said, he wasn't your superstar defenseman. All told, his totals in Washington, not counting his totals in Pittsburgh, because he did actually get some points in Pittsburgh, 13 goals, 85 assists, and 97 points. 98 points, sorry. In seven seasons in Washington. But it's also noted... His number wasn't so much retired because he was the fourth pick or because he scored the first home goal in franchise history. It's because he was still active with the organization after his retirement. He was, the, he was at various times, served as an assistant coach. He was a color commentator, a scout, and director for community relations. Plus, he was active in their community while he was playing after he was done playing. So based on that, the Caps did, us, did him a solid and retired his number on November 22nd, 1981, thus becoming the first capital in franchise history to have his number retired. Definitely not the last. So that's another one of Chess Hockey Shows. I want to thank you for tuning in. I did say this one would be quick and easy, and it was, and I'm thankful for it. I hope you guys enjoyed the quickest, probably one of the quickest, Jersey retirement numbers I've ever done. 
not they're not all going to be that simple like i said i'm working on a 10 pager still i still haven't finished it i'm still working on it it'll be done before the end of the year i promise you that but either way since you're here like i said don't think i don't appreciate the gesture give me that like while you're at it hit that red button the one that says subscribe if you know you want to subscribe makes you feel good i'd be happy if you did it we're so close to 100 let's make that happen all my socials there in the description down below Moving forward, I'm going to give you one more, and I'm going to call it a night. But either way, in the meantime, and in between time, you're looking for more videos from Trev. Later.